Here we go again. This is the um, Starlight Dragonfly. This little hill here, um, just at the end of the field, this is 200 yards away. Now, this is a dragonfly, as I say. Now this is the Torch Factory Solaris. This is the Mark II model, I suppose you could say. Um, which has been modified to avoid the black spot which we were getting in the middle. Um, this is on full beam, 200 yards again. Full beam. Now, I shall back it off to flood. As you can see we can get some little diamond shapes on the way through. Now there, there we are on full flood. Not one sight of that black spot like what we were getting last time. I shall overlap it with the dragonfly. Put the Solaris back off. Solaris on. Dragonfly off. As you can see now, there's not really much difference between the dragonfly and the Solaris like that. We've got a little visitor here. Now this is through the longbow. Longbow longbow's only on five times magnification at the moment. Where's the focus right now? I'll try and zoom in a wee bitty. Zoom in the Solaris, tighten the beam right up. See, I think the best beam you can get is on actually full flood with this now. There we go. Now we'll go through the three modes just now. We're on about half, well, between flood and tightest beam just now. So that's the highest setting. This is the lowest setting. Uh, I'll just flood it out a wee bit. That's it on full flood. Wow. Right, there we go, we're back onto the lowest setting again. Medium setting. Now you can see with that, I don't know what the upload will be like to YouTube, but 
and there's absolutely no question you could easily shoot things at 200 yards. I'm actually looking through the phone, through the scope at the moment. That's a nice picture. And that's really bright, as you can imagine, and that's on full flood. You can't flood it any more than that. Right, we'll go for the dragonfly again, have a little play with that, see what you think. Now, that is the dragonfly, I'm sure that's on full flood at the moment. Right, we'll tighten it right in. Now the phone doesn't seem to like that actually, it seems to be too bright for the phone. Now that's just managed to zoom right in. That's 10 magnification, 10 times. Now that hair that you can see there, That's somewhere in the region of 300 yards. It's taken off up the hill. Oh, Jesus. Stop. Now, I'll have to have a wee fiddle with the front focus on the longbow. No, it's as good as we can get. Um. I'm struggling to get the longbow mounted up because I'm sort of mounting torch and top of torch. But that's the longbow, that's fully focused beam. And the hair's probably made its way out to, I don't know, 350 yards possibly up the hill. Now if that stays there, we'll have a little look with the Solaris and see what you think. Now remember this is a Solaris on its widest setting just now. Uh, I'll focus it in. Right, that's it, fully focused. That's the highest power. So for me, looking through the phone, looking through the scope, you seem to see that quite well. Um, I'll overlap it with the dragonfly. And that's the dragonfly on its full power. Now, I shall back the dragonfly off. To its widest setting. I think this hair can see me playing about here actually. Now that's just the dragonfly, that's widest setting. That's the beam fully flooded. Alright, I've repositioned the gun now. We're looking at the top of the field. Now that wall there is 500 yards away. That's the dragonfly on its widest beam. Now uh, we'll tighten it right up. Now, as I said, I don't know how well it will show up once it's been uploaded. Um, but you can see that wall, it's 500 yards and that's as light as can be. Just as a shame there's no hairs up there just now. That would be quite nice to compare. Oh, 
there's one there, but that's going to be what 450 possibly to that one. Now I'll overlap it with the Solaris again if I can find the button. Right, that's the Solaris on now. That's it on its highest setting and its tightest beam. Now you can still see the wall fine. Back off a bit. Now I'll just widen the, the beam, widest setting. You can see the wall again. Pesky here went. Now where I am just now, it's a big deep valley, so you can see for miles. That's the widest setting. Let's go through the power modes again. Now that is on its lowest setting, you can't even see the wall actually in the list. That's a medium power setting. So you can see the wall at that. There you go, back onto full power again. Now, as you can probably see, this is a vast improvement over the first one, I think, anyway. I don't know what it's like looking through all the digital stuff, but with tube night vision, um, this is a huge difference compared to the first one. It's quite strange because you focus it the opposite direction of what you would with the dragonfly, opposite way around. There's that head again, about 450. There's a the wall. That's its tightest setting. On its highest mode. Now, I'll try and overlap the dragonfly. There's the dragonfly. As it's only got one power setting, that's on full power. On its tightest beam. Now the reason the phone's not wiggling about as much as normal, I bought one of these G-Line scope adapters from um, Night Shepherd. I think that's what it's called anyway. Um, be able to find them on Facebook. They do all various sort of back plate fittings just for you screw it onto the ocular, your your scope. Works quite well, actually. Yeah, I think that's about it now. And we're on ten times power just now. I'll have a look back up the wall. I can get this set up right. Right. Right, I'll zoom back out. I usually always keep the longbow in five times magnification anyway. I'll never go to ten. See, so you can see it's a vast improvement if you go back onto five times. Just click so much more light. Now the only reason you get that bright spot in the middle from the dragonfly is because it's getting recorded through the phone. If you're just looking through the longbow itself, you don't get that. So 
So yeah, it looks pretty much just like that, but just with being so bright. Right, I've moved the rifle around. Um, the top of the hill that we can see there, that is approximately 900 yards away. Um, those are some sheep walking down the hill there. Actually, hold on, I'll just go and double range. I'll range that just now. Now that's not 900 yards, that's only 800 yards away. Um, but as you can see, there's all the sheep up the top there. I shall zoom it in. Back onto 10 times magnification. Um, there you go, you can see the sheep sitting up there. It's probably going to turn out crap looking through the, the phone when I upload it to YouTube. Um, but the picture is far better just looking through the, the scope. <laughs> 